Hello, this is the big game, and this is the 49 kill gameplay. And I'm not sure exactly what the game mode is called, but I think that it's um, called Drop Zone. I think this is like a it seems like a way better version of Hardpoint. That's what it seems like. It, but it's called Drop Zone. Actually, in Call of Duty Ghosts, it actually had Drop Zone. It's similar to this. But this is a way better version of Drop Zone. This is a really, really awesome. This is like really fun game mode. But I'm a little disappointed that you can't get heroes from this, unless you can. You can, but haven't found out the the power yet to get it. So, like what I said, this is 49 kills. I'm not sure exactly what is considered high kills in this game because this in this game it takes a, a little bit of time to kill someone and I do pretty pretty good like I use my jump pack and grenades very very efficient like holy shit I am somehow natural at the jumping pack and uh, the grenade throwing because most of the time I throw my grenade I get like a kill with it look over here look I got a random kill with it it's so awesome I like, got so lucky but I didn't know there was a guy over there because it shows on the mini map where I where they could be like that looks red dot well, not dot but that red uh, pie size thing I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about but Somehow, it showed up for for a little bit, and I knew there was a guy over there, so I just threw my grenade there, and then bam, killed someone with it. And I do it a lot of times in this. I got like maybe five. I I can't even count how many kills I got with the grenade from here, but that's crazy. And another thing, this game is it good enough to buy. Actually, wait. Oh, you see that? Only reason I survived that because his team, the uh, teammate, got in into the the guy's way that was shooting at me. So that team, that guy, he fucked his over his own team, and I got both of those kills. Oh my god, that guy, that guy must be pissed off. <laughs> oh, that guy must be so pissed. So what I was I was gonna say, um, is this game good enough to buy? I don't know. I compare this to. To Black Ops 3, which I'm planning to to play a lot. I'd rather play Black Ops 3 than this game, even though I had, I'm having a lot of fun on this game. But Black Ops 3 seems like the game I would rather play. So, could I have gotten more kills than 49 kills in here? Absolutely. I joined in one minute late. So I lost one minute of time to getting kills, and I found out that you can partner st start, which is like in Battlefield you can uh, spawn in your own squad player. You spawn right on him, go right back into the action really fast. I think I start using that when there's like only three minutes left into the game. The rest I just spawn right back into our, our base, which takes a long time to go back to the to the middle and start fighting again. So, with my calculations, from that one minute I lost a time, and the, all the times I lost just to, from spawning back in a base, I estimate I probably could have got 60 plus kills on this game mode. 60 plus kills, and I don't even know what I was doing in this game because this is like my one my like think my third game I played. Wasn't sure exactly what I've been doing, like all the, the perks and all the the special tricks on this game. So I, obviously I wasn't wasn't sure how to do it. But 49 kills uh, in nine minutes with with not doing a partner start that much. That's pretty damn good kills. And I use my jump pack to help me a lot. Like, I'll go behind a lot of people like crazy. It's a fun time. The jump pack is really, really good. I don't know. Some people... I'm not sure if you guys think this, but the, is the sniper overpowered on here? Because 
I'm not sure. I, I mean, for before I got the jump pack, I thought Sniper was a little, little bit overpowered, but once I start using the jump pack and the grenades, a combo, I think that's a better combo than uh, camping in a spot trying to get a headshot with Sniper. Because with the jump pack, you can get to spots easier, go go behind people really easy, or if someone's shooting at you, just jump over them and turn and then just kill the guy. It's easy. That's so awesome. The jump pack is so amazing on this game. That's so cool. Grenade's really good on this game too. All right, and now, just naturally, I know this game. Like in Call of Duty, I don't do this, but in this game, I knew that if you do headshots, it does a massive damage and helps a lot in gunfights. So I sort of sort of mastered getting headshots. Like every time I aim at someone, I always aim for the head, and I get a lot of headshots, and that helps me get a lot of kills too. So that's another tip. If you want to get a lot of kills, you gotta be a little more accurate. Even though you're shooting at them in the legs and the, in the chest, if they're shooting you in the head, you're going to die faster, which means you're going to lose the gunfight. And I think in the head, it would make sense if it's like three shot in the head. But I think it's like five or six hits in the chest and in arms and legs. So if you shoot in the head, you do drastic damage and it's awesome. And I somehow mastered it. You know, I have a few games. Like, I aim for the head a lot. If they're, like, up close. Like, if they're, like, standing, it's easy to hit in the head. So, I'll, obviously, I'll just automatically go right in the head because they're so easy to hit. But when they're moving, if the guy is moving, I suggest that you just aim at the body so you can hit him. Because it's really hard to shoot a moving head. But do your best to shoot in the head, and you'll get a lot of kills. It's just you just melt the guy like crazy. It's amazing that you can shoot in the head. And it's like what this game is. It takes from a lot of uh, uh, techniques from a lot of different games. First, the smoothness of the gameplay in the gunfights. It feels like Call of Duty, but the Battlefield feels like Battlefield, like a normal normal battlefield game, but with Call of Duty elements. And this game feels like the skill level of Halo. Like the headshots, like the only game I know the headshots actually does good damage is Halo. And this game feels like like the skill of the of the game. It feels like Halo skilled. So, if this game feels like it's Halo skilled, I wonder if this game could possible be a tournament kind of game where you can be the best in the game and win money, like Halo and Call of Duty are like similar to that. Now, the other game mode in this game. That's where where you can be a hero, you can be the ship, flying ships, you can be the turrets, you can be the the big walking things. I'm not a Star Wars fan, I'm not sure what it's called, but you can be in all those that, that that kind of game mode. But that game mode pisses me off. I get spawn killed in that game so much and I can't kill anything. I keep dying to the people who are in the, in the tanks, the big walking things, the turrets, all that stuff. I can't get killed with the guns. So this game mode is awesome for me and thanks for watching.